There is such a humongous demand that I must make a video response to Oh Shit Brett. And by I mean a humongous demand, I mean I'm just doing this out of my own free will. And out of complete boredom. So, once again, I'm going to be shitting out more Brits. And I have no idea what the fuck a Brit is. But I'm going to find out sooner or later. I have voices in my head. They count for me. They understand. I really hope this video doesn't get me on some government hate list. That is all wishful thinking. I wish feminism was labeled as a hate group. Because it pretty much is a hate group. Hi, it's O Shipwreck. If you've watched my other videos, you probably know that I'm a feminist. Well, no shit. Some of you are even brought to this page because you're looking for a feminist to fight with. I think it's about time I tackled the topic of the patriarchy. My god, the horror! The patriarchy! I wonder when you're going to address any criticism that anti-feminist makes towards your videos. So for those of you who live under a rock, the patriarchy is essentially this idea that men have the power in society. And feminists essentially want to eradicate that and make everybody equal. But the patriarchy is forever gone ever since the 1960s. And it doesn't mean we want a matriarchy. We just don't want men to have all the power. But I have a problem with the term patriarchy. And it's not because I don't agree that society is run by men. I definitely agree with that. Clearly you value someone's gender more than someone's performance. But it's because calling this problem the patriarchy is not addressing the actual problem. But eliminating patriarchy, putting women into power where men once were, that's not gonna fix the problem. So apparently having more women in Congress, or even have a female president, is not enough. Okay! I'm listening! If we focus on only women gaining power, it's going to be at the expense of another group. Anytime we focus on power or who has the power, it automatically means that some people don't have power and some people are subservient. But the thing is, with the way our world is right now, anybody who has power is going to try to defend that power. People who don't have power are going to try to get power. By power, I mean money and status. So, in other words, the poor has no power, the medium class has some power, and then the rich class has all the power. Okay, fair enough, but what does this have to do with feminism? Or equality, at that matter? Because that's what power is in our society. We live in a system that plays off people's worst characteristics. It plays off people's greed and selfishness and utter shamelessness at tearing other people down for personal gain. May I remind you that 10% of homeless shelters belong to men? Only 10%! So the problem is not the patriarchy. The problem is capitalism. Do you know what capitalism has done? Capitalism, an economic and political system in which a country's trade and industry are controlled by private owners for profit rather than the state. Sounds pretty good.
It's enslaved and killed millions of people. It's capitalized off the work that housewives have done, all the while making it nearly impossible for women to go out and actually gain status in this world. Maybe if you were living in the Dark Ages, you might be right. It's divided us up into little groups through advertising. It told us what a man does versus what a woman does versus what a white person does versus what a person of color does versus what a gay person does versus what a straight person does. In the way that we're heading right now, I don't think capitalism has a much effect on what people think between what a gay person does and what a straight person does. Capitalism is basically having less and less effect in society on how we view other people. Wouldn't it be much better if our worth as a human being was not based on these minute aspects of our identity? Even though you talked about how the more money you have, the more power you have, you talk about how capitalism treats people differently based on skin color and gender. You know, feminists go on and on about how the patriarchy tells us how we're supposed to be. The patriarchy tells us to shave our legs because men have more freedom because they can have body hair. Are you serious? Really? Look, if you don't want to shave your fucking legs, then don't. But don't expect people to be attracted by it. Or something like that. No, the patriarchy didn't tell us that. Capitalism told us that because it makes money by selling razors. People buy products in order to make them feel better. These people buy products because they want to look good. I buy razors because I want to shave my fucking face. You know, I don't want to look very old. Hell, if I don't let, if I don't shave my beard, it's going to itch. And I don't, I don't want to, you know, end up scratching my face every five minutes just to take away the itch. I buy these products because it helps me. It helps a lot of people. So, uh, just, just as you know, there are plenty of women that shave their legs, not because, you know, the capitalism tells them they need to shave their fucking legs. It's because most women don't want to have hairy legs. They like to feel beautiful. They like to feel empowered. I mean, if you were completely fucking hairy, would you think I would find you attractive? No, I would not. Okay? The patriarchy makes us into sexual objects because objects are easier to control and it's easier to be violent to an object. Even though objectification is part of human nature, we constantly objectify. Even now I am being constantly objectified because right now I am nothing more than mere entertainment for my fans. Those are valid points, but the patriarchy didn't plan that. It happened because as capitalism played out, people realized they can make a ton of money Gern with the fucking whistle! by making women into sexual objects. And men too! It's for profit! We use them, we use people, especially those who are fit, sexually attracted to buy products. It is part of how marketing works. Especially when it comes to dieting programs like Protein World. And guess what? You fucking feminists went batshit crazy about that ad. So if it's not patriarchy, why did capitalism manifest itself as white men having all the power? Because white men invented capitalism. Down with the cisgender white male patriarchy! And then a bunch of white dudes got on a boat and decided to take over the whole world and make everything into commodities, including human beings. Guess what? Any of us could have come up with capitalism. White dudes just got there first. Oh, you're so feminist and empowered. Great. Maybe it's because they had the ambition to f over the rest of the world.
you have issues. Lots and lots of issues. Especially considering that you have to censor yourself in order to entertain your own fans. Listen, if you are worried about people hearing you say the word fuck, shit, asshole, dick, cock, or whatever, then maybe you should not say those words instead of having that high note Ear-piercing bleep every time you fucking curse! More than anyone else did. I don't know. So feminists, please stop hiding behind this patriarchy thing. It's not gonna solve anything. And let's turn capitalism into Soviet Russia communism! So share your thoughts below if you agree or if you disagree. I know plenty of people will have a lot of problems with what I said. Really? Are you going to address anything that your critics have to say? Because from what I can tell, feminists who are female never, never address any forms of criticism at all. They fear criticism. So what they do is that they'll cry out misogyny and hide behind their white knights. I doubt that I'm going to receive a video response to you. I doubt I'm going to even get a message from you. <laughs> You're going to be no different, without a doubt. So, I will debate you gladly. And if you liked this video, then subscribe to my channel. Well then, if you do plan to debate, send me a message. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace. They game out.